Hello my scrappy friends and a big welcome to my channel today. So this video is part of the Tracy Reed Designs My Person YouTube Hop that uh, myself and a bunch of the team are participating in. You can see I've got here a piece of craft cardstock and I have print a bunch of the, oh, I've printed the Traveller's Notebook signatures, papers, um, the stickers, the 3x4 cards, the 4x6 cards. I've printed a whole bunch of this collection and then I printed two of that heart pattern paper on 8.5x11. Uh, I found that printing on 8.5x11 is much quicker than um, putting all of the individual cards onto an A4 piece of paper. Um, if you can't tell, I'm in Australia, so 8.5x11 is not our standard size. Uh, so I have managed to get my hands on some Epson presentation paper, uh, eight and a half by 11, which has been working fantastically. Um, it prints beautifully. So I have, uh, used my foil quill again. Now, if you've been watching Tracy's, uh, Instagram, I think she shared that she had actually, uh, foiled this exact same design. Uh, I think she used rose gold. I'm not sure though. Uh, foil and I've used copper because it's what I had to hand and I initially thought that I was going to cut the whole thing out and essentially use it as a frame but then as I was taking off my cutting mat I had this genius idea to lift up the patterns there like I am and tuck a piece of pattern paper behind there which you can see I've done uh, so that it kind of peeks out a little bit I can tuck my design in uh, and leave the rest of it in there. Now you will see this change morph and change quite a bit, but I'm really happy with how it came out in the end. The photos that I'm scrapbooking are of one of my Bessie's little girls. Uh, you've seen me scrapbook her before. I, every single time she gets me, every time, she just has the cheekiest little grin. She is the cutest little thing. Um, makes me laugh every time I see her. Uh, <laughs> She's given me the side eye in one of those photos and a big grin and she was trying. I think it was a thick shake. I'm not sure. But yeah, I was just like, oh my God, you are too cute for me not to take photos of. So I snapped away and I got these gems. <clears throat> so I have print, I've printed those. They're a little tiny bit smaller than two by two. And you can see where I'm going with my page design here. Uh, heart melt. I was just like, yes, that is just perfect. And I'm going to, so you, I kind of, this page, apart from doing that cut file, was a total wing it page. I didn't really think much more about it. I had the idea of doing uh, a photo strip with these four photos or even a collage. When I printed them, I printed them all as a square. Uh, and then, yeah, my, I just kind of uh, let my imagination run wild and, and went with it. What you saw me do before was get some foam tape, by the way, and I've tucked that right up uh, along where I have adhered that the center of the hearts and leaves on that wreath. Uh, and I've only adhered it to one side and the closer you put it away from, well, the further away from the edge, the more lift and dimension you get. Uh, it's really hard to see from looking above. so. Uh, you'll see in the photos more of that uh, and I really love the effect it gives it is quite it's subtle but it's not it's really hard to explain you will see it in the close-ups uh, so I am literally just building my layers here this collection is absolutely stunning uh, the colors are not something I would normally go for I mean yes I love pink uh, but these colors all together with that with that green oh it's just beautiful absolutely stunning so make sure uh, if you're looking for a it's not even a specific Valentine's collection it is a uh, my person collection which is what it's called uh, I love that it is so versatile for obviously you could use it for your Valentine uh, and if you've seen my other share I've done a couple of cards uh, <clears throat> but you know you could use it for your kids for for your kids with their friends or their siblings or your pet there's you know 
Um, there is digital stamps in this collection, which is what I have foiled here, one of the digital stamps. Uh, <laughs> and uh, one of them is, I can't remember exactly what it says, but it is about fur babies. So yeah, this collect and I mean, there's rainbows, there's rainbows, there's love hearts. Uh, it's just a stunning, stunning collection. Tracy, you've smashed it out of the park. Um, so I'm using the three by four cards here. I'm just adding a one layer, I think, yeah, one layer uh, behind each photo, apart from the tissue paper. And just adhering all that together. This, like I said, this layout does take uh, quite a twist and turn and you'll see from where the video in, ends compared to the photos, um, I do add a couple of things after the camera is turned off, but that's okay. Uh, so I'm just getting this placement right and because the heart is popped up on one, that is the Big Mama original foam tape and then the title is on the foam tape too, which is a bit higher. I've had to do a couple of layers here. I'm just trying to get my placement right. I don't want this photo too high or too low. I stick it down there and then I'm like, oh no, oh no, my photo is stuck. I do manage to move it and I do have to cover up a little bit of that foam that got stuck. I couldn't get it off, but I don't make you watch that. I did just use my craft knife and scrape it off. Um, I was like, right, let's get to embellishing. I put this heart, heart, this arrow here, uh, and I put another one up the top. Oh, I do try this in a few different places before I decide where it's going. You can see me just trying it everywhere. I'm like, does it? No, it does end up up there. Ah. Uh, I add a few more little stickers, I think. I only did this last night and I can't remember. That's terrible. Oh, so I decided that it was looking all a little bit too monochromatic. So I pulled in this label uh, from the stickers. And I love that the, like the stamping, I using air quotes, is like triple stamped. So you've got the fading out. Uh, I add lots of love sticker on the right hand side photo. You can see I'm now trying to add in more of that green. Uh, but I'm finding that a lot of the pieces I'm picking are not quite right. Uh, I didn't want to add too many more words. So you can see I do try a few different things out. And yes, I found a flower that fits beautifully there. I'm like, oh, I've got flowers in this collection. How did I forget? Then I decided I'm going to bring in some more florals. I'm going to add this leaf down here thinking, yep, I can definitely add a flower on top of that. And so I pull this light pink one and I muck around with this for ages and ages. Uh, I'm going to pop some foam on the back of it so that I don't have to stress about it sticking where I don't want it. And then I'm going to cut because like seriously, it took me forever to decide what I was doing with that. Uh, I think this bit of footage is in the wrong place. No? Okay, so I um, I stuck that flower down and then I've added that circular grey sticker with the heart on it. I've added a floral up to the top right hand side of the photos and then I wanted something under here. Uh, I started with chop chopping off a layer of the rainbows from the 3x4 card but it wasn't quite long enough. Uh, and at this point, I'm like, this is really, really clean for me. Like, super really clean. I don't know if I love it. Then I pulled out, my goodness, these beautiful watercolours. So I got some money for Christmas, uh, and I invested in some of the Yuli watercolours from Etsy. They are stunning. They are beautiful. I've only used this one colour. I'm like, oh my goodness, I love them so much. Uh, you can see the shimmer in them. They're just so pretty. So, so pretty. So I'm adding lots of splatters. I've gone all the way around my cluster, uh, adding that colour. And I'm looking at this going, oh, I don't know, something not right here. Something not right. So I'm going to add some more paint because it's apparently what I do. And then I'm still like, I really, I maybe I shouldn't have added that paint. I'm not really sure. 
And this is where it all starts to change. Oh, only changes a little bit. Uh, I soaked some of that up because when the colour goes on, it is quite bright. Uh, and the colours in this collection are, are not bright. So I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. Dry it off. All right, maybe I need to add something behind here. Okay. So I pulled out a couple of my 12 by 12 pattern papers. I started with this one. I'm like, me. And then I grab a second one. I think. What am I doing? I'm so sorry. I must be shuffling through my papers. Here we go. I found this one from Prima. It's beautiful. I love it. Uh, and I'm going to take a quarter of an inch off each side but I think that I end up taking like half an inch off one side and then a quarter of an inch off each of the other sides just with the way that the layer ended up um, not quite centered on this craft card stock I'm like mm, okay maybe looking at it going oh I don't know I don't know it needs something that circular design oh, I don't know and so yep I am chopping it out. I cut the whole middle section out. I kind of went, oh my god, what have you done? What have you done? All right, I'm going with it. So I'm going to stick this to this background paper. And I have to say, I I really like the layout. Now it's finished uh, and I've made these changes. So I stick this on here and I'm like, oh, I still I like it, but I'm not... Mm. I'm going to go in, I'm going to stick that craft board on the right hand side down and fluff up my hearts and stuff. Then I turn the camera off uh, and I actually ended up uh, mounting this onto that uh, pink and red pattern in the background on an angle, which you will see in the photos in a sec. And I'm really, really happy with how this one turned out. So I'll make sure I link everyone in the description box below. Uh, and oh i don't have all the links yet so i will make sure that i link everyone as soon as i have all the links hope you enjoy this hop make sure you jump over to the tracy reed designs store so you can get your hands on this collection the first weekend it is released it is always on special so um, this collection is absolutely stunning if you have any questions for me please make sure you leave them below uh, as always thank you ever so much for stopping by uh, and choosing to spend your scrappy time with me i hope that you have a fabulous day and uh, happy love day to anyone that does celebrate it and to anyone that doesn't celebrate it because everyone needs a little bit of love. Uh, I will see you in my next video.